All right, Fantastic Fest 2012. We are here with the depraved minds behind the ABCs of death. Hi, my name is Thomas Melling. My letter is H. It's for hydroelectric diffusion. Hi, I'm Adrian Garcia Bogliano, and my letter is B for Bigfoot. My name is John Schnepp. Uh, w is for what the fuck. And I'm Marcel Sarmiento. I did D for dogfight. Watching this today, there's nothing else that says Fantastic Fest like this film. Just the variety of it and all that. But, and I think this kind of embodies the, the fest. It's a chance to be part of this amazing anthology of being, you know, with, with some of the most interesting directors that are around today. And I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a filmmaker, but I'm also, you know, you know like a, a f freak of films. It was just really fun to actually be able to make a, a crazy short film and, uh, and ha know it had a place to go. Yeah. And also that it would be part of something really experimental yeah i think when i saw the list i was just like wow i you know i can't wait to meet these guys like this at the festival is exactly kind of what i was that was my goal is like i can actually meet some of the people that i like i really like and respect and i wonder if i can make something that they'll think is kind of cool yeah it's a chance to do something that you haven't when you do something for somebody else other people decide what you're going to do and uh, it's it's a chance to just do what you really want to do uh, and then, as you say, John, it's got a home to go to. This festival is very special to many people, and and uh, it's it's apparent, obviously, by the by the growth of it. It's one of the largest genre festival, if not the largest genre festival. And and but the spirit of it's so fun. Do you do you guys each have a particular memory from maybe a previous Fantastic Fest, or maybe something that's happened so far? This is my second time at, at Fantastic Fest, and and it, it's been you know twice uh, a, a great experience you know and uh, and, uh, and a very uh, and a very special place to launch a film uh, last year was war premiere of, of uh, one of my films and this this year was US premiere both times we sold the film here in the uh, in the festival so so it's it's really a great place and you have a a lot of fun also so it's you know both things at the same time you know a, a big professional experience and and also you know having a great time with friends so it's you know what else can you ask for it's almost hard to say because it's the whole atmosphere is so uh, is so special that i think the general feeling of being here is better than specific uh, examples but when i was here the first time in 2010 i got uh, I won Best Director and won Best uh, Actor for uh, uh, Norwegian Ninja. And there was one of the guys in the uh, panel of judges on the stage when I was going up to get my prize. And I really wanted to, a meeting with this person. And I thought, okay, I, I'm going to have to get the meeting right now because I'm going to see this person face to face. I wrote a note. Uh, hey, I have, I have an idea. I want to talk to you. This is my phone number. Call me tomorrow. That's the one festival where like, sort of, you feel like there's no ropes. Like everyone's just sort of together. Uh, filmmakers, fans, everybody, and I sort of love that. Like everyone just sort of like, it feels like parties are open to whoever shows up and, and it's, uh, it's it's really fun and you can really talk to people who have just seen your movie and and yeah, it's great. Can you each talk about your segment in the um, in the ABCs and uh, and why you got that letter? They had this idea about how the kids are taught the alphabet, so I thought about that and I, I, I try to make like a creepy bedtime story with a lot of dialogue. Uh, to be, you know, very. I thought it was gonna be uh, pretty different from from the rest. Uh, you know, approaching with a with a, you know, with lots of dialogue and, and you know, very little blood. In Norway, it's a big tradition. Uh, when Christmas time comes, we s we watch all these old American uh, cartoons from the forties, like Donald Duck and Tom and Jerry, and. Um, I've always been fascinated by the level of violence in those films. Uh, the p fact that they are targeted at children. Also, I think it's really interesting. This is a kind of serious point, actually, but I'm just going to say it. I think it's interesting that in those old 40s uh, cartoons, the, the, per the, the animal, the cat or the dog or whatever, uh, who gets attacked always gets uh, morally uh, indignant. What, how do you say? In indignized, indignant, but when it comes to revenge, the revenge is often much stronger than the initial attack. So the the the, the term moral morality is kind of uh, doesn't get any meaning in these old films. So I wanted to see what would that look like if you do it with um, 
real characters with masks and huge breasts because they're naked uh fighting each other would it change how we look at this violence that's targeted at chil at uh, children and also what would happen to sexuality when you when you go from a drawing to uh, a person I within inside a suit and also the moral dilemma of uh, the person being attacked and the revenge and all that stuff so i just wanted to make something funny that sort of touched those areas for, for my letter W, I had a bunch of different W's that I was thinking of doing. So I just kind of, I wrote this really crazy thing about like everybody's uh, true fears and nightmares coming to life via this chemical spray that's hitting them. And it happens to happen in the middle of while I was trying to make another animated short for the actual ABCs of death. So just made to turn into this crazy meta comedy. So, and there's a lot of death in it. So, and Hey, if trying to put that death in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I, I think I just thought I, I could never out shock like with this group, like they would have me beat. So I thought I just wanted to think of what could I do uh, that that maybe you haven't seen before in a little way, and, and on this on this budget. And so that was sort of my starting point, and um, yeah, that's kind of what I did. What else that you guys are working on, uh, be it if it's here at Fantastic Fest or, or not? I got another film here at Fantastic Fest this this year. It's uh, called Here Comes the Devil. Uh, and and now I'm going to make my first film here in the U.S., um, the werewolf movie. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. good. All right. That's nice. So hopefully I'll, I'll be invited next year to Fantastic Fest. And that's why I make movies now, for to get invited here. Uh, I'm actually working on a children's movie right now with uh, another Norwegian writer. And it's um, it's a movie about three kids racing in the fastest and most dangerous soapbox kart race in the world. And they have to ride um, for 24 hours. So it's like uh, the children's version of uh, Le Mans. Mm, so my idea is just to kind of make um, a racing movie with that's kind of Goonies-like. And um, I just want to do a really dangerous and scary children's movie with lots of speed and action in it. I'm currently working on, uh, I, wrote, I raised money through Kickstarter um, about six months ago, uh, about $188,000 to make an animated Grim Fairy Tales, but an R-rated version. So we're in post-production on it right now, and we're going to be premiering the first 20 minutes of it at the New York Comic Con. It's, it was a lot of fun. I, I just wanted to emulate something that when I was a little kid, well, 13, I saw Heavy Metal, the movie, and that had a very big impact on me. And now as a, an adult, uh, it's really hard It's really hard to actually make an animated R-rated anything in America. So I went outside and crowdsourced the money and found that a lot of people want to see R-rated animation. So that's what I'm making. And I'm just working on a sort of twisted thriller called Parental Consent. Just sort of waiting for the last money to drop. 